So here's my ELM3027 OBD2 reader. I'm going to check my Honda Pilot um, code. As the connector, all you have to do is just align for a notches and just stick it in and the light will come right on. So it's a Bluetooth device and on my tablet I just enable Bluetooth and it will pair it. As you can see OBD2 right there, it's paired. And the software I'm using, it's a free software called Torque. Turn that on. I do not want GPS on right now. Okay, so there we go. So the first thing is to just stick the key in and turn it to the second notch. Milwaukee in the second week of our series. Alright, and after that's done, um, as you can see I have engine check come out. So let's read the code. In order to read the code, I click on the uh, cog wheel right here, and then click on fault codes, show log faults, see what comes up. So P0303 is a Honda Cylinder 3 misfire detected code. According to online blogs, um, when uh, the cylinder misfires, it can cause other codes to show up. So as you can see, I have a bunch of other codes showing too. Um, not saying that uh, these uh, codes are invalid, just saying that it's a good diagnostic method to first fix uh, one issue and then uh, move on to another one instead of fixing everything at the same time. So today I'm going to go ahead and replace all of my spark plugs to eliminate the misfire, to, to, to make sure that the spark plugs are, are good and, and it's, it's uh, due for maintenance anyway for spark plugs. So I'm going to change the spark plugs for my 2009 Honda Pilot. Uh, I have six spark plugs right here and I also have a, a anti-seize lubricant. Uh, first thing you need to do is pop the hood. You do this by going over to the driver's side and pulling this. Next, underneath here has a lever. Pull that up. Pop this up. Next, there are two flathead plastic screws right here. I just turn it kind of clockwise halfway. open up the cover. It just pulls out like that. So all our spark plugs are on this side. You can see one, two, and three. Those are the uh, coils and we need to remove that in order to get to the spark plugs. And on the other side of the engine, deep at the back right here, as you can see, one, Two and three all the way down there. So here we go. Let's first remove the 10 millimeter bolt. And I like to do one spark plug at a time. And uh, now let's remo remove this connector. It, when you uh, there's a tab right here, you just push it down and it pops right out. As you can see, that tab right there, you just push it down, that's up, out. Now you can remove this very easily. And now I'm going to remove the spark plug. So I have right here a 5 uh, eighths uh, swivel spark plug socket just here we go so here we go this is the old one it's not really in too bad condition but I'm gonna go ahead and re Move it 
and replace it. And these are pre-capped, so you don't need to recap it. I'm going to use a little bit of anti-seize lubricant. Just put a little bit on, on here, like so. Put it back in the socket. After that's done, we'll put back it all together. That's good enough. And then you just plug it back in, that's it. Go through all six of them. The last, um, the spark plug that was hard, hardest for me to replace was the last one right here. And I found out using a swivel definitely works. You will want to go through uh, this uh, hose cavity right here uh, as you uh, put down the, uh, the uh, socket. And you want your wrench to be facing this way right over here and that's all the tips I have for this so it's been uh, two months since I changed the spark plugs and I'm going to use a different device this time last time I used the uh, Bluetooth uh, OBD2 reader this time I'm just going to use a handheld one um, just to demonstrate two different systems and this one I just crank it to number two, T number two position, just like before, insert it, and after I insert it, this device should come on automatically and start scanning. So as you can see, no codes, it's been running fine, changing the spark plug fix the whole issue.